going to start this week in cat cow pose. So really working with the breath here. Drop those ribs down. Nice arch in the back and then suck the belly button up towards the spine and those low ribs too. Working with the breath here and the entire spine. We're going to come next into thread the needle pose. So we're going to keep the hips square, send one arm away and then bring it under. And when we are in this pose, we want to keep length in the neck. We want to try to keep the hips as square as we can and we're breathing into the space between our shoulder blade and our spine. We're going to come back to center and repeat on the other side. And remember that hand that is on the mat with the palm on the mat is pressing into the mat. That will help you keep proper form. We're breathing into those rhomboids and middle trap here. Keep the hips nice and square. We're going to do just a little bit of cat cow to kind of get the spine back flowing again. We're going to come on to our knees and do a variation of camel pose. We're going to cactus the arms, just start to open the chest. So we're countering thread the needle a little bit here. We're going to do a little bit of lateral flexion, grounding down through the knees. If you need to, you could put a blanket under the knees. Or you could even do this in Sukhasana um, or a different leg position if being on the knees was uncomfortable. So we're going to come into camel, bring the hands to the SI joints. We're pulling those shoulder blades away from the ears and towards the spine. We're going to reach back. Now you could curl the toes under here if you wanted to decrease the intensity. Really opening the chest. Be careful not to overextend the neck. We're going to peek at cow face pose. So we're going to grab a strap if you need one. Today we will not be doing the leg position. We're going to focus on what's happening in the upper body. So we're going to have one arm reaching up and just start warming that up. Start reaching back behind the neck, sort of to the nape of the neck, depending on the length of your arm. And then the opposite one is going to come back of the hand on to the low back area to start warming up. It's a pretty intense stretch if you want it to be. So we're going to turn around here so you can see what's happening. We're going to reach up and then down. So we're going to use the strap on this side. And then you just walk the hands together and you can work with the breath for this. So we're easing each elbow up and down and slowly walking the hands together. We're going to keep the core contracted here. And remember not to jet the head forward. We're going to do the other side without a strap, just so that you can see what both sides look like. Slowly start to walk the hands together. And if you can, reach the fingers together. If you can really grip your fingers together, you'll feel the intensity of the stretch.